<laughs> gotta redo the whole thing. There's a lot of groveling and begging involved. You have to um, use white out and go over the whole area and then basically redraw it on top of the white out and that's hope it's the, the artist worst. doesn't notice. It's the worst thing you can do. Okay, this, there's so many big bold lines here that I'm just going to start going at them really fast to try to block in some of these shapes. seen anybody brace their drawing hand together. Yeah, I hear that a lot. Um, I actually picked up this technique watching the uh, oil painters because they use a, a cheater stick, I don't know what they call it, when they're working on a canvas and they have a long stick and they prop it up on the canvas and they use that as a brace. And so it's just another contact point for me. Um, Instead of just doing this, if I press my hand there, it just gives it a little more stability. So the fine stuff, and I didn't even notice that I'm doing it. A lot of times I'll be at the bank writing, <laughs> going down, and I notice my hand's down there. Well, I didn't make, mean to make it self-conscious. Well, I know. Now, now that I'm thinking about it. But I've been doing it for so long that I just kind of take it for granted. And that's another advantage of, of a brush. It holds more ink than, than a pen, so you can you know do this stuff for a while before you have to re-dip. And this is a number three. That's the, the size that I prefer. This piece, though, I could have gotten away with a bigger size. Who did you say did the, the original art? David Williams. And he's here, right? Yes. Yeah. He's sitting, he's in, sitting like, next sorry. to me. Okay. And I also uh, have a book out. It's called The Art of Comic Book Inking. And it's been out for a while. And all the stuff that I'm talking about now is, is covered in the book. And there's a lot of illustrations of uh, with different inkers inking the same pencil page. And so you can see the interpretation of what a lot of different inkers bring to the same piece. What does Kevin Nolan do to get his big spots of black so even? Does he just uh, you do mean several on his, layers? On his originals? Yeah. Um, he probably does the same thing that I do, is erase in between the, the line stage and filling in the black stage. But I mean, I looked up close to some of the, some of his originals, and you know, uh, some like perfect example. Mike Mignola doesn't care if his blacks are even. Well, some people uh, use markers. Right. Some use uh, thin ink that's gray. Yeah. I 